Hey guys, so today we're going to make our Ahi Poke Bowl. Uh, what are we making? Ahi Poke Bowl. So normally I do this at home, obviously, but today we got a lot of back to back functions a breakfast, a lunch, and too much. So we're going to have to try and make it in here. And we got our friend today, it's Jared. Aloha. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And because he went to Hawaii recently for a holiday and left me to do all the work, um, we thought we'd do something that's inspired by Hawaiian. I refuse to do a Hawaiian pizza because it's wrong. We have so much pineapple. We have so much pineapple. Not doing it. So we decided to do an ahi. So we'll start on it uh, if we get Jared to start on. So we got some really nice sashimi grade tuna. That's the ahi, I suppose. It's it's the Hawaiian for uh, yellowfin tuna. It's gorgeous. So with this, it's really important not to use these really sinewy bits. Try and use the really nice, um, the soft bits. So put that on the blue bob. Also, just for fun, you can do some salmon. So I've got some nice sashimi grade salmon. Um, this is really good. So we need to chop those into cubes. Really know, large cubes, I guess. And in the meantime, so I'm going to put these on a traditional, like on a rice. So um, I'm going to use a rice base. You don't have to use rice if you um, don't want to eat that kind of stuff. Or if you're on some sort of keto diet or whatever, you can use anything. You could just put this on a bowl or use it as a salad. But I like these rice. So I cooked this rice this morning. If you want to know how to make the perfect rice, um, I already have a video which I'll link up. So just to flavour the rice, so I just cooked this up this morning, so it's still warm. I got some sushi seasoning. So I'm gonna make a, like a sushi base rice to just add a bit of flavour to it. Um, bit of, yeah, basically some sushi seasoning, a bit of salt, a bit of, you can add a bit of sugar to it. They mix it all through. So, um, I like this kind of just warm. Don't want this hot, and nor do I want this icy cold. So I, I think it's perfect when it's just a bit warm. So we're gonna put these in a bowl. That's the base. This will be a fairly quick class because we gotta go and make lunch for a bunch of people. Okay, so with the uh, So with this we for the actual ahi bit, we're gonna put the fish to this beautiful, beautiful tuna and we'll mix it with some salmon. I mean you can use snap or you can use any kind of fresh sashimi style fish. Kingfish, kingfish would be awesome. So we're gonna use this, we'll um, dress it. So we're gonna start off with some sesame oil. We got some soy sauce. We got some homemade chili from our farmer friends in WA. He makes these from scratch with his own chilies, he grows them and everything. Thanks, Rocky. Awesome. So we're gonna put a bit of these because I like it. Uh, you can put some seaweed, there's wakami and all that kind of stuff. But there's this really nice rice seasoning that you can get most Asian stores. They got the nori and different flavours. I really like these. There is no real um, uh, major thing that you must do with these, but Let's put it on the screen board. Yeah. So we just need those really thinly sliced. So we're gonna slice some shallots or spring onions, so let's call it. Maybe we'll put some half some cured tomatoes. So with this, I'm gonna get a grater, some ginger, fresh ginger. You can get those pickled gingers that they serve at the sushi trains and stuff. That's pretty cool for these, but I did manage to go to the sushi shop and mix some. So, <laughs> so I'm just 
going to use fresh ginger, which is really, really nice as well. Bit of nah. I really like my ginger. Let's put that through there like that. And we got to cut a piece of lime. Uh, yeah, let's make it really small. One. Apparently, um, different people, if you don't like the white bits, don't use it, if you like the green bits, but I think traditionally in Hawaii they do both. Uh, we need half a lime, squeeze the lime. And so now all we need to do is plate this up. Okay, so we got the dressing, everything else. Yeah, it's great. Don't have to cook much, but if you do overcook it, you put it a lower temperature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lower, I'm lower. I'm lower. I'm lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. I've been rehearsing that all morning. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I thought so. It's a bit of sarcasm. No, no, no. <laughs> Who, me? Alright, so we're going to put those in our pokey bowls. And what else is going to show up? So you can pretty much put anything from here. Um, we got some cucumbers, we're going to throw some avocados. This stuff is just so nice, it's so delicious, fresh, um, and it's just great. So I've got some, also some garnish, some rocket. Well, no, this is watercress, I, sh I should say. It's not rocket, just that's the same. Um... Oh, it's not rocket science. <laughs> oh my god, it's too early in the morning. I haven't had enough coffees. All right, so there's some watercress, which tastes like rocket, it has that real mustardy kind of flavors. If you haven't tried it before, you should give it a go. It's awesome. It goes great with the fish. Got some coriander. I think I said in the last one, um, I really hate coriander, but it, it, you kind of learn to develop it, and if you mix it with the right flavors, it's, it's okay. Um, actually, you can chop up the coriander and um, put it with the fish as well, the ahi. Add some tomatoes. It's nice to put sprouts. I think on the recipe I wrote um, edamame beans. You can buy these frozen edamame beans in, uh, in the shops. They're really nice. You just kind of warm them through and they're, they're pretty good, but um, I couldn't find any today the other day, so you can go without. You can put beans. You can do anything with them. They're quite nice. It's really good. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Um, so there's your Flaky bowls, so easy to do, so nice, and so good. Actually, the, the, advantage, the advantage of um, working in a, doing this in a commercial kitchen, there's heaps of whisks. I don't have to worry about that. But this dish didn't require any whisks. It's just nice thinking. enough. It was nice to know that. So I think we got everything in, hey? Every, oh yeah, I think we got some Kewpie mayo, which is really nice as well. Get this at the Asian groceries, we live on this stuff. And that's it, that's your beautiful, let's have a look. Um, pokey bowl. Thanks for coming in and watching uh, next week. I'm not sure what I'm making. Oh, we're gonna be making a Thai, uh, Thai curry from scratch. So we're gonna make a full Thai paste. I've got another friend who's a very good um, Thai chef. Um, he's going to come and help me. We was planning to go to the markets as well. We'll go and get some stuff and we can get some in season as these um, eggplant, these tiny little eggplants. They're, they're amazing. They, it's what you normally put traditionally put in. So Frank and I will do that. But um, thanks, Jared, for making these. Get any last Mahalo. Words. That means thank you. I don't know the oh, really? you're welcome. I was going to get some briefs and wear a uh, like, nice. Hawaiian. Reese's you make it a more somber event. Alright. But you can do that if you want. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks for coming. Uh talk to you soon.